Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome here to Under Armour Pro Series Green Flag here at Las Vegas. This race actually started a little early. It's threat of rain is in the area. 30 laps as Jonathan Wong will lead uh, Christian Vargas. Oh, almost contact right there between those two. Daniel Boisel and Daryl Wingman. But look at this. This is all dirt, man. Cars are going to be slinging dirt all around. Three wide right here. Our only short track race winner this season right there in the middle. That's Tim Brooks Jr. trying to get to the front. Four wide contact. They're beating and banging here at the dirt in Oswego. Here in Under Armour Pro. Oh, contact. Oh, the 98 hard in the wall. And I don't think Tim Brooks got into that at all. Merle Ingram gets in the T.O. Moss. And I actually, I do not think Tim Brooks got any contact in that. I think he might have jumped up on the brake. I don't see any nose damage whatsoever out of Tim. We're going to go back and watch what happened here on lap number four. Wow. Watch. He's sliding, sliding. Oh. Oh. Barely. If he got any damage, it was just a little. Merle Ingram. He's basically saying that car is destroyed. You can see it now p blowing oil and smoke at the rear end of that car. We saw it. They went four wide, and the 42 is out of the throttle, trying to get the 98 all the room he could, but just too little, too late. 62 also got up into it, so Merle's going to be out of the event. We'll get you back here to the green flag in just a moment, but wow, we're under this little break. Here's some USARC late model action right now. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome here to USARC round 2 from Oswego. Super Dirt Week have invited the USARC late models to run up here. And it also invited the Under Armour Pro Series which you're already seeing. Lap number 1, Roman Merlin, former sportsman driver, goes to the inside and makes a move on Turk, uh, Rusty Wheeler. And will lead lap number 1. Roman Merlin would lead the lap number seven, and then along beside him would become uh, Coy or Chevy Houston, excuse me, goes to the inside of him and battles him for the race lead here at lap number seven. This is setting up for the rest of the field to catch. There's Aubrey James back here, Austin Ace, Cletus Williams, uh, Cliff Williams' brother, and it is Charles Ray, and a couple other young up and comers up here in the front. Houston cannot get by Roman Merlin on that inside. He's going to have to probably maybe do a slide job or something. Here we are back. Two laps of racing to go. Chevy Houston has a little bit of a lead, but they're about to go three wide. As it's Charles Ray and Tucker Yates to the inside. Look at this. Three wide coming to the white flag here at Oswego. Chevy Houston has held this late race lead ever since he passed. Uh, passed the 42 earlier. Tucker Yates going to the lead. Into turn three. Tucker Yates has got it. The seven runs him all the way to the wall. Chevy Houston in the wall. The big one strikes. And Tucker Yates will win the second round of the USARC late models. Here it is, Wego. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get you back to the actual sportsman race. Or Under Armour Pro race. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lights are out. You see the pace car pulling in. Jonathan Wong will lead. Daryl Wingman, Daniel Bozel. Green flag back in the air. Mike Hawk also running up in the top five. Keith Stevens. Jack Legacy. Derek Edison. Capella Bai. Landon Fenway. Adam McDowell. Dylan Abraham. Yule Silver. That is your top 15. It's Jonathan Wong trying to pull away. It's get this dirt win. Wong did have a good car at Eldora. Up, up on the dirt. This race is halfway home. Almost halfway home. Tim Randolph running around in the back. Where's Tim Brooks? Brooks, 26, says the nose is not planted anymore. So he must have did get some damage out of that hit. There's Phil Parker. He's had a bad qualifying run, but has moved up to 13th. Phil Parker likes this dirt. Look at him. 
He's going to take it three wide here. Run the 25 up the racetrack to give him all the room he could up here as we go. He's going to be up to 12th. He's going to try to crack the top 10 here in a moment. But Wong is just sitting here trying to hold the 16, the 52. But, man, the 5 is starting to charge. And so is Keith Stevens. Keith Stevens really haven't talked a lot about him this season. But he's up here in that Penske 22. Trying to get something going. Wingman to the inside of Jonathan Wong. This is a battle for the race lead. Here does we go. New leader on contact. Wow. Ran Wong up almost a little bit high. Wong trying that out outer lane. Won't get it. Look at Wong though. Going to drive it back under him. Crossover. He's going to use the 16 up a little bit. Into one they go. 16 going to way, way up high. Get that good arc off the corner there, door to door. Down the back straight away. Oh, the 14 going to slide using the quarter panel. Oh, contact. These boys are battling hard for this race win. The 5 is now up under the 52. The 16's got him on the straightaways. Is the 14 going to get clear this time? Oh, no, he's not. Wow, the 16 put a bumper to the 14. Was not clear. And that actually hurt the 16th momentum. Here comes the 5. Mike Hawk to the inside. He's going to slide up. They're catching the lap car of T.O. Moss. That's also brought Keith Stevens into the mix. And look, what we tell you, Phil Parker good on the dirt. Currently sixth after a terrible qualifying run. Watch the five to the inside. Is he going to use the, up the racetrack? Yes, he is. He's going to run the 14 wide. Almost into the wall and error. Almost around. Contact. Four, the five goes around. Caution. More than likely out. And I think, I do not know who the leader of the race is. It's going to be the five. I think he spun at the line, so the five is the leader of the race. Wow. Crazy. I think it happened right at the start finish line. So the five, right here, the caution's out. The five crosses the line, I'm guessing, as the race leader. Yeah, the five is your race leader after getting turned off the nose of the 14. So the five, wow. He's on the inside. He's coming to pit road, though. So that would let Jonathan Wong retain the lead. Tough day there for the five car. He's got a flat right rear tire. See him changing the left side tires. They're probably just going to put four on it and send it back out. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get you back to the green flag. Jonathan Wong. Is your race leader to him? We'll get you back to the green flag. Lights are out on the pace car, and we've got a battle for a dispute about position. They have not caught. So I don't know what's happening. Getting ready to go green. The four wants to line up here. Keith Stevens is going to let it happen. Because that, all that's going to do is help Keith Stevens get around him. Yeah, that was actually a smart move by Keith Stevens. That let him actually have the, the preferred line going into turn one. He's going to be up under the 14. Door to door. Contact at the line. Keith Stevens. Trying to go to the race lead. Phil Parker might have a shot still in this race. 14's going to try. 
that's going to let the 16 back to the inside. Caution is out. This is the race, more than likely. 14 going to try. There's a three car stuck in the middle of the racetrack. Oh, Daryl Wingman. Ah. No one hit the three. Wow. And I think Keith Stevens is going to go home with an Oswego Dirt victory. But Stephen Thompson destroyed. I don't know what happened to him. Uh, he gets up next to his teammate, the 21. That's Bafodi Sacco. They go up into the wall and oh! That car flips violently into the dirt. The car shut is out, man, and it race back to the line. Yikes. So I don't know if we're going to get this thing back green or not. We'll find out in just a moment. Welcome back to Oz We Go, ladies and gentlemen. We are not getting this race back green. So Keith Stevens will win in the number 22. That's Jonathan Wong, Daryl Wingman, Phil Parker. After a bad qualifying run, comes home P4. Good run for him. Checkered flag in the air there for Keith Stevens. We'll get you the rest of your finishing order here. It's Stevens, Wong, Wingman, Parker, Borzel, Silver, Edison, Abai, Vargas, Fenway, McDowell, Baranowskis, Abraham, Legacy, Richardson, and then the rest of your finishing order from 15th on down. Ladies and gentlemen, we will see you guys tomorrow from the road course, Watkins Glen, New York, for the Nationwide Sportsman Series. Till we meet again, everybody.